On First News today, our subject is pallets. These are wooden pallets. You've seen them. And I think uh, one of the great things for people to use is to take these out on a campfire in the deserts and use them to keep warm. Well, that's not what they're best used for, and we really don't like to use them that way because they're rather expensive. And we'll find out more about them, but this wood pallet has a big use in the agricultural industry. As a matter of fact, it's used all across the country in all kinds of industry, but mainly agriculture uses a lot of them. And Luciano Rivera is our guest, and Luciano, a lot of these are used in the industry, aren't they? Yes, they are. How many pallets do you have right here in the Yuma Yard? We got about 100, 150,000 pallets. 150,000 pounds. Where do these come from? They come from San Diego, they come from Las Vegas, and locally around here. Are they all from the agricultural industry or are there other industries involved in this? Agriculture. Okay, now what happens when you bring a pallet in here? We, um, we sort it out. There's a number one, there's a number two, and what these guys do is um, repair them as number ones and number twos, and then we re dis distribute them. How bad a shape can they be in and still be used? I think it's halfway decent. Okay, you're gonna, uh, then you, these guys uh, pull off the bad boards and put on new ones. What's the most common problem with the pallet when it comes in? It's uh, broken boards. And then so you have to uh, put in a new board. Is there anything else you put in? Um, new boards and also patch up the stringers that are broken with, um, with repair blocks. Now, actually, uh, Luciano, there's actually nothing you can move here in the uh, vegetable industry without pallets, is there? No, there ain't. So how do they do this? Uh, does a company, who buys these and who puts them in here? Um, we got these um, Fresh Express, um, Dole, Natural Selection, a lot of big produce companies around here. Ready Pack that uses all these pallets. And how do they break them up? They, if they bust them up, they bring them to you and exchange them or what? Yeah, they're forklift drivers um, or just um, heavy loads that bust, bust, bust up the pallets and we just get them back and um, we repair them and then just send them right back to them. Okay, and now these pallets are, well, let's see, I want to come in and bring a pallet in, one or two. I was a guy who had found a couple in my backyard. I can bring them in. How much would you give me for them? Well, if you got a regular standard GMA um, 48 by 40, I'd give you $2 a piece. And if I'm a company who wants to buy one of these in A1 shape, what am I going to pay? I think you'd be paying maybe about $4 to $6 for a uh, number one, $4 for a uh, number two. It depends on the qual um, quantity you're going to be taking. Okay, we're looking at one of these fellows that's taking one of these apart. What's he look at first when he, when he uh, looks at this pallet? Well, make sure the blocks are all intact and the boards, the end boards and middle boards are all intact. That's, that's mainly what he's looking for. Okay, now I notice he pulls a lot of things off of there. He's pulling slats off. He's taking off the boards, he's taking off the, the, the blocks, the broken blocks, and just patching them up. Okay, now they have like almost like a submachine gun to nail these things down, don't they? Yeah, he's got his um, Bostage handgun that works with coal nails. These, are these uh, fellas all bring their own equipment, or do you supply them with all the well, equipment? We supply them with all the equipment. Do they make pretty good uh, dollars per hour? They do. They're on a piece rate basis, so it depends on, on how much they want to make through the day I mean if they work they are gonna make some money if they don't if they don't work they ain't gonna make some money so they're on the piece rate basis. Luciano Rivera is the manager for the Valley uh, the yard manager for the Valley Pallet Company here on Gila Ridge Road in Yuma and I'm George Gatley and that's the story from First News Today.